Hey devs, thanks for joining me today. I want to try something a little bit different here for a while. I've been having a lot of fun making videos, exploring some different topics with you all, but the problem I'm having is that I'm having too many ideas now and there's a lot of things that I would love to share, but maybe don't warrant a long form video, or maybe just don't have enough things to pack together at the moment to create a video. So something that I'm thinking about trying here is something along the lines of really short, bite-sized, actionable tips, uh, tools, advice that can still help you become a better Android developer, but that'll allow me to share more of that information um, without having to wait for the longer video. So I'm thinking about calling this something along the lines of Two Minute Tool and Tip Tuesday. Kind of a long wordy title, but I like the alliteration and I think it speaks nicely to what I'm trying to do here. I want to keep them short, very actionable, and obviously Tuesday, that gives you a nice deadline for when to expect these videos. But today's first tip is going to be looking at the difference between Project View or Android View within the project pane within Android Studio. Now, these two views have some pretty big differences in how they display your data, and both have very valid use cases, and so it can actually be really helpful to switch between them. So let's take a look. When I open up Android Studio here, my project pane is open into the Android view. If I click the dropdown, we'll see there's a number of options, but the two we're particularly interested in are Android and Project View. So if we look at project view, we'll see that it exposes our Gradle scripts at the top level so that it's easy to find and edit those. If we then open up the app module, we look inside and see it consolidates our manifests, resources, and our source code. Within the source code, we can see the different source sets for test, Android test, or for our main flavor. Within the res directory then, if we expand values, we'll notice here that it consolidates strings and styles. You see the little two next to it. This indicates that we actually have different variants based on things like language locale or API version. And so it, it consolidates these together to make them easy to recognize and easy to see that they have different variants available to us. Now let's take a look at the project view. We'll select project from the dropdown and we'll see that the top level view has changed. We now see the name of the application along with the path. If we expand this, we get something that looks much more similar to what we would see in our file tree if we open this in the file browser. If we expand the app directory, we'll then see again the similar structure as the file tree. We'll notice here that the build.gradle file for the app module is not conveniently located at the top level with the other Gradle files. If we start to drill into this, we can see that the structure again matches the file structure, which makes it easy to know where exactly our files are. And it gives us more of the real overview of just how many files we're dealing with and how they are structured. Well, notice now we have multiple values directories instead of having them grouped together and kind of abstracted away from us. So this can be useful if we want the more honest view of what's going on, or if we want to look at something like the build folder or the intermediates folder. So if we go back to Android view, Again, we can see how things are kind of consolidated away from us. So here, I like to stay in Android view if I'm working with resources, and I might switch to project view if I want the more full version of what the project looks like, and I wanna know exactly where the files are located, or maybe look at the generated files or build artifacts. All right, that's it. That is the first two minute tool and tip Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the idea, let me know with a comment down below or hit me up on social media. I'd love to know what types of topics you all are interested in and maybe just let me know what you think of this idea in general. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Until next time.